Hi, Internet. Uh, good kitten. Uh, just as I said, I've just stopped and started, and I'm about to sneeze. Be glad that I muted it for you. All right, so last time we had reached the town of Milma, which is a very beautiful town. Uh, the people in it aren't very beautiful. Lots of water, and we need to go talk with the priest. Oh, yeah, I still can't afford any of that. Um, I might be able to sell some stuff now that I think about it. I don't need three breeze capes. One is enough. Anything else I can sell? All right, now I've got enough to buy either a bastard sword or a dream wand. So this increases Cecilia's attack by nine. This increases his at uh, Rudy's attack by. 18. And I can't afford... I could afford it if I sold something worth 3, but... I think I'm gonna go ahead and get pick up the Bastard Sword. Alright, so let's go ahead and enter the pub. Well, first hit these. Oh, Violet Rose, that's nice. Very happening pub, if I do say so myself. You no know, alcohol in this? No, that's impossible. Oh, the psychosomatic people who think that they're drunk because they're in a bar drinking something. Who and his father was a guardian priest. Heard that the town of Adelaide was under attack by the demons. To the east of the cave, there is a desolate ocean made of sand. Beyond that, there's a town called Ship Graveyard. But I hear only the best dream caser casers. Dream Chasers will get through the cave. Hint, hint, you need to do that. Search the barrels that I can reach. Nope, nothing. What do you want? I'm busy right now. Can't you come back later? Do you want to ask the pub owner about the Guardian Shrine? Why, yes! The Guardians? I didn't think anyone knew about them anymore. Keep in mind, we just came from one of the most religious towns in the game. It's a bit of a shock to Cecilia in my mind. I may be of some help. My father was the last keeper of the Guardian Temple. He told me many stories. Wait until the customers are gone, will ya? This isn't a temple I'm running here. It's a bar. Why don't you guys eat something while you wait? Okay, five hamburgers, please. A lot of food for you guys. Who's gonna eat all of it? Uh, Cecilia will. Cecilia canonically loves hamburgers. Although I think in the Japanese version it might be ramen. I seem to remember that. I can't believe you had seconds. Magic casting requires a lot of energy. That's why I'm always hungry after a battle. Plus, I love hamburgers. I learned how fun it was to eat through cooking and eating hamburgers at the Abbey. Everyone loves me because I'm a princess, not because I'm Cecilia. People need me because what I symbolize, then I will do what is asked of me. I will retrieve the teardrop. I don't know why you're dropping these truth bombs right now, but sure. Okay, I'm ready. Nobody else is here. Let's talk about the Guardians. There's a room that only priests were permitted to see. My father probably wanted me to become a priest because he made me memorize the password to the room. Write this down. All right, we are going to write this down, by the way. So I'm going to open up Notepad++. Um, darn it, there's an update. One moment. Uh, do, 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 gave me a bit. Notepad++ needs to update. Uh, all doing i did not ask that last week or last episode it's three days per episode not a week which is good because nobody would ever follow this if it was a week it's too long all right got that now i need to add window capture and pp all right we've got that let's shrink this down a little bit you don't need to see the title bars. 
You don't need to see the bottom parts either. Send this way to the back. There. All right. So it says. Oops. All right. I need to make this slightly bigger. And move it down. To do all of this work for just writing down a simple puzzle clue. Oh well. Light the fire at 2, then at 10. There's our clue as to what we need to do. I don't know what this means, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. By the way, take this with you. Holy metal. All right, well, let's head out because we can. We don't have anywhere else we can go. That's not actually true. I think we can stop, darn it, wrong one. Um, I think we can start going through the Sand River as well, but there's not much that we can do on the other side of that. There's still natural resources left here. You see what's on the other side of the mountains. It's all sand. Hint is where we need to go next. That's the temple that we need to go to, but I'm curious to see what's over here. Elu Pyramid. It's weird that this music is playing here. It changes later on, but... Yeah, sealed by magic. We can't do anything else until we get a duplicator. Oh, the Elu Pyramids. You'll understand soon enough. Oh boy, will you understand. Anyway, there is a sign down here that I want to see. Do you get the magic map from the mountain pass? This is actually what made me have to go back to the mountain pass the first time I played through the game. Was finding that sign. But I didn't find the sign until the end of the game. You'll notice that the outdoor map actually has a relatively low random encounter rate. It's kind of weird. All right. Oh, um, I forgot to mention last time, uh, the, f the reason why we're so poor is because I'm not selling much of anything. Uh, usually when you buy a new piece of equipment, you sell the old piece of equipment. In this case, I'm not. Or I'm selling any extra copies that we have, but that's it. Because so I want to find out what we can mystic. Anyway. Guardian Shrine's where we're actually going. So this music is Guardian music, by the way. I like the statues. They look pretty cool. Strange device is binding the door. A small circular indentation lies below the description. When the time comes, show the sign. Which we got a sign. Nope, time's not ready yet. All right. Remember what it said, which I can just look down and see. So light the fire at two. Two. Then at 10. When you light the fire at six, the door will open at 12. go. 
Oh, analog clock puzzles. Then go through the temple with the light. Holy metal is the light, by the way. Really simple puzzle, but unless if you're told, that would be really hard to just guess. Especially since you don't have the pot of water to undo... Uh, there's a pot of water item later on that you need to be able to undo things. You don't have that right now, so you'd have to use the wristwatch to undo things, and that would take forever. Sphinxes. When I think of low enemies, I think of sphinxes. Uh, oh yeah, I need to redo my magic. Um, or, like, the order that it's in. And just attack, Rudy. It's fine. I don't remember how powerful sphinxes are. Feather arrow! Oh, it's the first area of effect enemy. They don't hit hard, at least. Sphinx! Level 10. 150 hit points, 50 MP, weak against evil. Again, the sound effects that these enemies make when they attack is ridiculous. So they have 150 hit points. Naturally, the only one that I want to... Uh, and they can poison I don't have a magical way of curing status effects yet. I don't think I get one for a while. Ooh. Actually, I have really high defense. Because Cecilia is doing nothing to them. Jack leveled up. Let's go ahead and show Jack's status page. There's Jack's status. There's stats. Yeah, I actually have to use the item. Come on. Holy metal. Blink. We walk down the stairs. More cool statues. Oop. Shiny. Carrots. Yay, carrots. A single lizard man. Okay. You're dead. Why is that even an encounter in here? Whatever. So yeah, this dungeon is not linearly laid out. There's a lot of different doors and so on. There's a lot of things to explore too. And I want to make sure I get all the loot. Cockatrice. So these are inevitably producing paralysis. you live, you're getting analyzed, and if you live past that, you're getting shot in the face. Confusion, please? And it glitched again on my TV. Interesting. It's confused. That helps. Level 9. Four hit points remaining. Great. Not weak against anything. And you're getting shot in the face. That was a little ridiculous. But that's okay. Didn't want to mess around just in case. Don't like dealing with paralysis. You know, I should probably mirror image my camera since I keep looking in this direction. Critters! I seem to remember critters having some weird weakness. Like light or something. And then punch the cockatrice in the face. They're just really fast. They're not that strong, but they're really fast. Paralysis! And Cecilia's paralyzed. Yeah, each time I cast Psycho Crack, my TV loses sync. It's weird. Yeah, Cecilia's just out for now. Because these guys don't have enough hit points for me to justify wasting an action on curing Cecilia. I can do it out of combat. Also, she's paralyzed, but she can still boogie. I don't know how. Great, you gave me an antidote. You paralyzed me, you pieces of garbage. Uh, cure paralysis was Toy Hammer? No, that's forgetfulness. Heat solve? Yeah. Uh, 
Probably an item over here. Probably a random battle over here. You know what? I'm going to move this over a bit so now I'm not staring off. Oh, lovely. Her attacks are so terrible. Yep. Another crest graph. Okay. I haven't gone down yet. I'm pretty sure up is where I need to go. <sighs> Scarecrows. I really don't remember what scarecrows are like. They're probably the ones weak against holy. Little high defense, but not very high. Level 8. 120 hit points. Weakness is holy, yeah. Mouth. Mouth. But Rudy can one-shot him. And once more, we are not getting any random battles where Cecilia can actually use Mystic. <laughs> Mystic Apple. Mystic Apple and Mystic Apple? Yep. Well, two of them are going to Cecilia. The third one I'm going to hold on to for a bit. Sort things, please. Thank you. Um, yeah. Let's use some small flowers. Yep, everybody's luck seems to be dropping. I haven't rested. Or no, I did actually sleep. That's right. Okay, that actually makes sense. Never mind. Alright, now let's go back and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Loot. Why am I walking over there instead of using hand pan? I have no idea. And pins the mouse after all. Eh. These won't survive. And Cecilia can't one shot him, but the others can. Honestly, Cecilia's attack doesn't matter. <laughs> and Rudy's doing more damage than Jack at the moment, although for this particular one he didn't because Jack critted, but. Um, Rudy's the one that we upgraded his weapon. We haven't upgraded Jax because we didn't have enough money. We should have enough money after this dungeon, though, because we're actually getting decent amounts of money here. Ah, so many random encounters. Please don't paralyze Cecilia this time. So many counterattacks. I don't get to analyze Jack or Squad. Although, you can't analyze Jack. You can't actually... Oh, wow. Jack's just killing everything. Okay. You can't analyze Jack because Jack's one of your characters. And you can't analyze one of your own characters. Actually, there is a reflect ability. I wonder if what happens if you use analyze and somebody is reflecting. Yep, this is never a good sign. All right, we are going to start wrapping around in the save slots because I only have one PS1 memory card now. I gave the other one to a coworker whose son wanted to try out his old PlayStation type of thing. And I have backed up these saves, so I'm not too concerned. Also, do I need healing? No. I don't really need much of anything. Oh boy. Dungeon. Puzzle. Alright. Doink. 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 Nope. Watch time. 
So it's basically, you need to figure out which one of these you have to start at. This one? No. The top left. Or top right. Started top left before, but it's this one here, I think. Yeah. There we go. Then we go like this. Then we go like this. Then we go like this. Then like this. Then like this. Then that one. And the door opens. Also, fun fact. Uh, lighters were actually invented before matches. So that is period accurate. And I don't have control anymore. Bloop, bing. I understand still dark. We must go there. What are you planning to do now, princess? Honk. Hey, follow her! Bloop. All of a sudden, Rudy and Cecilia were gone. They found themselves on a strange landscape. Each character will be played separately from here. Please, switch characters and play them one by one. So, you can actually just switch between these constantly if you really felt like it. But they're trying to tell you to play one by one for, you know, symbolic reasons. Except not. So, Jack can't go any further. And everybody has their own theme music, if you couldn't tell. This is actually Cecilia's theme music. Alright, left or right? I'm gonna go left. This was the correct choice. I'm gonna go left again. This was still the correct choice. I'm gonna go right this time. Because the game's tricksy like that. I actually did not remember that. Just pure chance. Alright. Uh, I can't push that one forward. But I can push this one forward. Then this one to the left. Whoop. No! Not Adelaide Castle! Princess herself is coming to save the world. May the Guardians be with her. The princess is responsible for being a princess. Remember that. I know. I know, but... Have you noticed that no one calls you by your name? The princess is a simple. Cecilia is not. Do you understand? Please. Not you too, father. You knew no one loved you, so what's the surprise? You? Me? You requested this dangerous adventure because you wanted to be loved by someone. You're not going to save the world because it's your duty as a princess, but what you really want is sympathy, you hypocrite. I told you, this game does not really pull punches. So yeah, keep in mind, each of the characters to me when I was playing this as a kid were different aspects of me. Wrong? Answer me. No one loves you. You don't love anyone. Wake up. And trapped in here. Oh yeah, I forgot. We actually can continue Jax, so I'm going to. I forgot I have handpan. I'm sorry, handpan. Oops. I used to be able to do that where I can just walk and do it. And Jack actually has random encounters in his. But of course, I have Sonic Buster now, so these are kind of, well, trivial. Hey, don't die, though, unfortunately. Although, if I keep counterattacking, I'll kill them all. Jack has a really high counterattack rate, if you haven't been able to tell. Um, it's because counterattacks, I believe, are based off of res. So the higher the res, the more likely you are to counterattack. And with only one left, no reason to use magic, and just die. So yeah, Jack actually got the full XP for this one. So yeah, it's not level-based. It is totally based on um, characters of the party. It's just dividing out the XP equally.
Ramp of strike. Let's just waste a lot of MP. So I've got to waste. It's fine. It's quicker this way. Boom, boom, boom. Jack leveled up. Go ahead and show that off. Yeah, this is Jack's theme, by the way. Three attacks, unfortunately. Or two attacks. I must be close to their speed. Funk. Get heal berries for killing them. Interesting. Okay. Pretty sure right here is about the end of Jack's area. Yep. The story contains the power that I've been seeking. Now I can have my revenge. This is absolute power. What happened? Where am I? Vast nothingness. Like a dream. Someone there? Come out, whoever you are! No way. It can't be. You're the one who ran, coward. You seek power, but you refuse to use it never run away from anything before. I've accepted every challenge I've faced. You ran away from your friends and your responsibilities. Most of all, you ran away from yourself. Don't you get it? A coward can destroy, but the true power is the power of protection. I know that. I really do. That's why I'm seeking it. Please be patient. So, if you didn't notice who those characters were, you've seen all of them before. And Jack's alone again. Everyone has a secret or two tucked deep inside. Guardian saw right through it. I hope they're on our side. I actually don't know what happens when you talk to everybody. You're telling me that the Guardians have made me have the flashback. Why would they toy around like, with us like that? And then there's Rudy. Once more, this is Rudy's theme. All Rudy can do is blow things up. Yes, Zone, you can curl up in my lap if you want. All he can do is blow things up. He does not have any fancy tools or anything. And basically, hey look, there's a hole there. You have to go blow up somewhere else. But he also has random encounters. Zone is clawing my knee. Thanks. Counter attack? You actually one shot him? No. But you can two shot. Yep. Rudy time to level up. Cecilia got nothing from this. Oh, there's this there's Rudy's level up. Bastard Sword must be plus twenty-five attack. So apparently in the remake, Rudy doesn't have a sword. Which is interesting, if I do say so myself. I'm blowing up all of these, by the way. Because I actually didn't know if there was one path or two. I think I have to go through the middle on this section. Yeah. Yep. This has to blow up. Bow, 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 bow. 
I still only have the stupid hand cannon. I should probably just switch to auto-battling. Although that's gonna help some. Double crits, nice. My frame rate's a little weird. <sighs> Auto battle, do your thing. This is. Oh, that's right. They don't have that many hit points. I'm fine. Both sides were open over here? No. Oh well, I didn't blow them all up. Not a big deal. The monsters are coming! Chunk. I'm, I'm scared. You're just as scary as the monsters. Your powers are not like ours. No place for you in this world. You're not needed here. Nobody wants to be with you. You're a stranger. Who are you fighting for, stranger? So, you use your powers to help, eh? What's that prove? You're still distancing yourself from people by not talking because you're a silent protagonist. Arms contain a form of energy that is different from the one found in humans. It's called gunpowder. They could have originally belonged to the demons. You're another monster! We don't want you in Philgaia, just look at you! Guy isn't for you. You don't belong here. This is the girl Stoldark has chosen? <laughs> the voice inside my heart is the voice of the Guardian. What a weak mind. The weakening of the world is really the weakening of the human soul. Greta Jeff! Do you really want this one to decide Filgaia's destiny? What? What do you hear? I don't hear anything. Listen, Moagult. We have no choice. I feel the emotions of the Guardians in my heart. You're literally listening to their words, but whatever. The anger and rage. The doubt and sorrow. Damn you, show yourselves! Stop toying with us! Okay. I am the Erd Guardian Grudajev. Which, if I remember right, that's a mistranslation also. We heard you answer our call. I am the Fire Guardian Moa Galt. I have looked into your soul. It is weak and vulnerable. It's not strong enough to defeat the demons who we have been fighting for, fighting with for the past thousand years. I am the Wind Guardian Fengalon. We are the spirits of the Guardians and we need your help. You may be right, Fengalon. Look at them. They look defeated. Nevertheless, they are our only hope. You know. You know, you guys kind of suck. But you're the only ones we've got. So... Uh, not deaf or blind. Damn you, why have you been showing these illusions? Answer me, Guardians! You must understand. We don't have enough power to fight the Guardian. No, the demons. We must get the teardrop back. We need its power to defend Filgaia. Teardrop? How do you know about that? 
It's only like this mysterious ancestrally passed object that is supposed to be passed to owners of Guardi. Oh, right, never mind. We know. We can feel its power. The teardrop is the light that gives us life. Yes, it is the same light that gives us life, which means you hold the key to our existence. No, you don't. You, you gave it up. What do the demons want with it? They want to destroy the world with it? Oh, well, it's possible. But they're trying to revive their master, the mother. The mother? It should just be mother. Mother is actually the name of the demon, but whatever. The mother? So that's the name of their master, huh? Warriors! Do you still seek our power? Uh, well, can't do this by ourselves. There's a lot to do. I want the power. I want to defeat them. Because you are weak, you seek power. We shall give you the power that you seek, but time is running out. You will have the power to summon us into your reality. And we have now gained our second force level ability. It's Summon Guardian. So by using Summon Guardian, you call the power of the force, or the guardian that's equipped on each of the characters. Take our powers before they weaken any further and stop the demons from regenerating the mother. Mother. We shall send our warriors into their lair. How's that possible? Yeah, we've got our ways. We know where the teardrop's at, by the way. The only way a warrior with a weak mind is able to defeat the enemy is by striking at its heart. Come now, show us your faith and leap. Blinky, 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 blinky. Reclaim the teardrop, we... Yeah, I should probably put up an episode warning on this video, shouldn't I? What happened? That was a shock from the Dark Spear of Siegfried! It should be Siegfried, by the way. That is a bad mistranslation, because it is a reference. We are not strong enough to transport to the battle. So basically, the Guardians just tried to teleport you to the final battle. And Siegfried just went, yeah, nope, go away. Go now. I will guide you to your destiny. You must prevent Mother... Teardrop! The teardrop is a source of life. It should not be used for the birth of destruction. That is Siegfried. The damned guardian. He scanned this area with his mind. Lady Harkin. His scans have been shut off. The Duke's mansion is superb. But now we know the humans are in contact with the guardians. We have a few problems. When the fight is lost, the decay begins. Look at this place. It's a dying land of cowards. Humans, Elu, and the guardians. Their defenses are no longer effective. They don't even have a world to defend. We have nothing to fear from the Guardians. Remember him from the intro? That is correct, my lord. Now that the Yellow are no longer helping the humans, they no longer stand a chance. Hmm. I know. When I watch them squirm in the flames, I feel my power. We could have gotten the teardrop with less destruction. What? What are you talking about, you newbie? Both of you st Sorry, wrong voice. Both of you stop it. We, the Quarter Knights, gather for a single purpose. We must break the seal which binds our leader, Mother. So these are the Quarter Knights. You, uh, we've encountered one of the Quarter Knights, hence Berserk up there. We will be fighting all four of them. The dreaded guardian seal must be undone. Sorry, this one's mine. <laughs> why should he? Why should he have all the fun? Bloop. So Alazad should actually be Al Hazad. It's a ref. It's another reference, and I'll go into more detail later. Arkin just disappears. Mo Mother, when you finally wake. 
Will the rest of the quarter knights share our dreams? That's not creepy as hell looking. Welcome to the insight into the rest of the game. And you arrive here, in the middle of nowhere, as far as you know. Cecilia? Cecilia, wake up! Come on, Cecilia, wake up. Where are we? The place of the seal. Grudajev said he would lead us here. But it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Mother, that's the last thing I heard before I fainted. So basically, that vision that we saw was actually what Cecilia was seeing. You're saying the demon boss is buried somewhere around here? I don't like this. Not at all. Being dragged everywhere by the Guardians, having to save the world. What's this? All of a sudden, Cecilia noticed that she was holding three stone slabs. Earth rune, fire rune, wind rune. These slabs contain the spirits of Grudjeff and the other Guardians. What's a seal that the Guardians were willing to risk the last of their strength to protect? Oh, we'll find out. So we're here. We have some Guardian runes to equip. So, Earth Rune increases vitality and defense. Fire Rune increases strength and attack. Wind Rune increases resilience and um, pry. It's parry. Um, so yeah. We actually have a tough decision to make as to what we should equip on who. Um, right now, Cecilia has a Water Rune. Water Rune, for reference, is Sorcery and Magic Resistance. And also, these are all percentage-based. So, I think this is increasing by, like, 7% or something like that? Uh, I can't map that right now. Uh, it's increased by 5, but... Yeah, anyway. So yeah, usually I equip the Fire Rune on Jack and the Earth Rune on Rudy. I think this time I'm actually going to equip the Wind Rune on Jack. And the Fire Rune on Rudy. I mean, we're going to have plenty of runes in this game, so we've got time to decide. So, where did this put us anyway? We are near Baskar Village. All right, so time to explain Baskar. Baskar Village is the only place that, as far as I know, is in every Wild Arms game. All of them. Baskar is very special. Because it's the first game that I know of that represents Native Americans, actually. Um, that's what this is supposed to be referencing, at least. There's a puppy. Reload ammo? Yes, please. Took a lot of effort to travel here, but nobody will buy anything. Please, can I show you what I have? So, temporarily, we're unable to return. So, I was wrong before. Um, we can buy a Claymore, a Vopal Razor, it's supposed to be Vorpal, and a Prism Stick. So, we desperately need to upgrade Jack's weapon. I mean, that's plus 40 attack. And we are very poor. Um, I may end up having to do a grind fest just for money. I'll talk to them later. Now I'll talk to them. We Baskarians believe in the philosophy of returning to nature. Beliefs shared by the outsiders, such as the Kirin teachings, emphasize the with co emphasize the coexistence with nature. So yeah, um, basically, Baskar Village. Uh, represents the stereotype of the spiritual Native Americans. Um, but in this case, they share the same religion as the primary religion of the world, which is interesting. The Seers communicate in a dreamlike state. You are... So you're going to get rid of the dangers of coming upon us. Is that so? You know, our chief was talking about the Zephyr coming to save the world. Maybe that has something to do with it. 98 Gala, aw yes. Hmm. 
Okay, Hillberry. Okay, yeah, I should enter that building now. It's the item shop. I'll sell you some herbs from this area. Not much here. It's basically an item shop of last resort. So yeah, um, Rudy is left kind of isolated. Jack is being called a coward. And Cecilia is being called useless. That because nobody loves her. These are actually hints for later on in the game, by the way. Uh, follow Mountains North, you'll reach Mount Xenom. I think Mount Xenom is where the ability that I'm thinking of that Jack has needs to go to. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. So Jack has no courage, Cecilia has no love, and Rudy has no hope. And those are, in fact, the guardians that the three of them will be equipping at end of game. We have no intentions of changing the way we live. People of Baskar are at peace with nature. Once more, the stereotype of the mystical Native American. That is one of the few stereotypes that the Wild Arms series keeps throughout the series. I keep myself together. My mom worries so much lately. According to our chief's dream, there's a terrible event that's about to take place in the world. About to. Which means the bad thing hasn't happened yet. We, the people of Baskar, gave up our weapons long ago. We're willing to fight for what's important, even if that means picking up our weapons again. Um... You... So, um, there's a character in both 2 and 3 that's from Baskar Village. So, yep, socialism. Hooray, socialism. Technically, that would actually be communism in this case, because you are sharing with the rest of the commune. Earth. Agile Apple. You know about the stone circled in the earth? No, I don't. The alignment of the stones and the letter-like markings seem to be a representation of a star formation. We used to determine important dates for our ceremonies. Still can't figure out these, this unpredictable new moon, though. The moon, the moon seems to watch us. Judge us? So yeah, uh, Phil Gaia has two moons. There's something weird about it. And oh boy, is there something weird about it. All right, we need to go talk with the chief, who is up here, I believe. The Wind Collar's Altar is where the hope of the Baskar people is gathered. Nope, you're not the chief. Chief is elsewhere. I think it's the big building to my south right now. Let's go ahead and save. Look at the cute little puppy. Oh, I just want to fall asleep on top of that puppy. Enter the outside faith. If you are tired, you may stay here to rest. Free healing. Perk of the Baskar. And there's even a big old fluffy puppy there. All right, we probably need to use some small flowers. There we go. And last and most certainly not least, let's talk to the chief. I've long forgotten my name, but I'm the leader of the Baskar people. I've foreseen your arrival in my dreams. Listen, warriors of the guardians. As you know, our mortal enemy, the demon race, why is race capital? Whatever. Is approaching. They're after the Guardian statue in the Xenon Mountains. In order to conquer Fulgaia, they must destroy the three Guardian statues that hold the three broken pieces of their queen's heart. During the war a thousand years ago, the demon queen's heart was torn into three pieces and sealed in three separate Guardian statues. They are planning an all-out attack after the revival of their queen. Xenon Mountain is to the north of here. Go, warriors of the Guardians, and protect the Guardian statue. I believe that you are callers of Zephyr, the West Wind of Hope. 
Go, visit the Windcaller's altar. The guard there should be of some help. Now we have to go up to the altar. Wrong side. It's up here. <sighs> Your party was summoned by Zephyr. Step up to the Windcaller's altar and summon the West Wind. Right, we stand up here. Looks like the West of Wind of Hope. Zephyr is not answering your call. Zephyr is the name of hope that people have long forgotten. Gurdjieff, Moagolt, Vengalon, and Stoldark. The Guardians' names are the real names for Earth, Fire, Wind, and Water, which we humans have long forgotten. It is not because of the battle with the demons. It is us humans who are responsible for the weakening of the Guardians. It's not actually true, it's both. They explain a little bit more later. Come back again. The wind will answer if you become the true caller of Zephyr. So yeah. Cool. Glad the Guardians are ignoring my existence. Sweet. And now we leave because there's nothing else in there for us because we don't have enough money to buy anything else. Range... We actually don't need the Holy Metal for the entire rest of the game, by the way. So this is the clock thing that they were talking about. Um, we'll be back here much, much later in the game. Uh, I think that's Dandarium that's there. Anyway, this is where we need to go. It's Mount Xenom. Ooh, maybe I should cut it here now that I think about it. Yeah, I did say I was going to stop it when we were within 10 minutes of the save point. Oh, nah, screw it. I'm going to see if I can finish Mount Xenom. Leave you will be victorious. Yeah, good for you. Hint, hint as to what you need to do. Oh, I forgot to use... Oh, I couldn't use Crest Crafts. There's no Crest... There's no Mage Shop in... Um... Uh, why can't I think in Baskar? So yeah, now if you look at Force, there's a second Force ability. It's Summon Guardian. It's the same on every character. Also, we have our first first palette swap because you know that was coming, right? Oh, yeah, we don't need this anymore. Naturally, I said it right before finishing up that section. Uh, analyze and punch in the face. Brutal attack. No. Ow. Brutal attack's basically auto crit. On the plus side, I crit back. They hit hard. Um, so your defense will not be going up as fast as their attacks. You will be taking far more damage over time. Level 10, 200 hit points total, 15 MP. Ooh, they have MP. That means they have spells. <laughs> Oh yeah, time to boogie. Time to boogie. Time to boogie. Hell yeah, time to boogie. Okay, it's going down. It's cold. Another lucky card. Sweet. I tend to save lucky cards for boss battles, by the way. Um, later on in the game, there's actually a better place to use lucky cards. Because bosses don't give the most amount of XP in the game. Tiny Edge. There's something weird about these enemies. I remember that. I don't remember what, though. Like, they were really hard to hit, maybe? Well, I mean, not like that. I don't think they were high hit point or anything. Just... There was something weird about them. Level 8. 100 hit points. No weakness. Let's use Accelerator. And I still have yet to get a Force 1 on Cecilia before everything's dead. So I can find out what else I can Mystic. Bum, 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 bum. Cecilia leveled up. 
So it's a lot easier to do force levels in the later Wild Arms games because you start with your level in force points. Uh, whereas in this game, you don't. You always start at zero. So this is Cecilia's new level. She is still wearing her starting equipment. Jeez. I think my housemate's cooking. All right, let's continue. Blue circle it. That's at least better equipment for Cecilia. Or not. Ah. Nullifies paralysis. Okay, that's what it is. Meow. 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 Shriekers. They're annoying. I remember that much. They inflict paralysis. And they're fast. Bonk. Bonk. Ah, crap. They absorb lightning. Good to know. Well, I'm glad I just healed up what I did. Uh, I have got to get better guns for Rudy. About to sneeze again. Ah, don't know. Um, actually, maybe I finally have a little bit of allergies. Because I have my uh, sliding glass door open. It's actually nice weather outside. Which, speaking of, I'm going to go for a walk after I'm done with these videos. Oh, I can finally start looking. Okay. So, what can I mystic? Blue... Alright, the Breeze Cape. I can mystic an ally with it. Okay. So, I want to find out what this does. You know what? Do it to yourself in case of it's healing. And then punch that thing in the face. Mystic! Air screen, okay. Yeah. There we go. Good to know. It's probably not something I'm gonna bother caring too much about, but it's good to know. It's usually Cecilia's equipment, any equipment that can be mystic. Which makes it interesting of do I buy this because I wanna wear it, or do I buy this because oops. I need to light things on fire, give me a moment. Um, or do I buy this so I can use it as Mystic? All right. Are you kidding me, game? All right, so I'm just going to stop this here then. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye! Bye!